Hello, everybody. Um, okay, so this is what happened. Uh, I just realized that this the last two episodes didn't save, which sucks, because um, there's a lot of things that happened. Actually, there's not a lot, but they're very important things um, that happened. So I kind of backtracked to a previous quick save, and we're going to pick up where we uh, kind of do a little filler episode. Um, so basically what happened was I fought the Deathbringer, and it wasn't it actually wasn't that bad of a fight. Um, he doesn't move, and there's a little little like inlet that you can hide in. So he fires this massive, massive, massive ton of arsenal at you. And then he doesn't move, but his heat goes up. So as he's shooting, his heat bar goes up. And then when he gets topped off in heat, he has to vent out the heat. So all these vents open up, and you just wail at the vents. And he actually dies pretty quick. I was surprised. It, 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 was, it was like a five-minute fight. It wasn't that bad at all. I took very little damage. It really wasn't that bad. But anyway, you kill him. Um, and then you go forward. And then you go into the... And there's this huge door. Like the same door that was back where our home village was. And it scanned us genetically. And said, Oh, hey, welcome back. Elizabeth, whatever her... Sorbit, whatever her last name is. You are 300,000 days late for your meeting with Dr. Faro. Please proceed to level 56... Uh, and meet with Dr. Farrell. So you make your way up here, and you pretty much, it's just a lot of climbing this building. Um, and there's not a lot of things that happen. Like, there's there's not really too many things to scan or anything on the way up. But you find out that Faro Robotics it owns this building, and Faro Robotics makes all, it's F-A-S, Faro Automated Systems, and they make robots. Um, and the robots that they make are automated robots for quote unquote peacekeeping and yada yada yada. And they made the Deathbringer, which was that big thing, uh, whatever, that that fight that we did. Also, uh, when we got up here, I climbed. I think you can see those little climbing points that go up there. And if you climb up that way, there's a power cell up there. I found a power cell up there. So, FYI, when you get up here, you can go up there and get a power cell. Um, but you make it all the way up here, and this thing you can scan, this, whatever the shit this is, you can scan, and it picks up, it opens up, it recovers data files, um, and then these holograms start. And the first one uh, is Dr. Faro, which is this guy right here. This is Dr. Faro, and this is Elizabeth uh, Sorbet, whatever her name is, Elizabeth Sorbet. Uh, and he's sitting in this chair, and she walks up, and she goes, what do you need? And he goes, well, there's a glitch. And she's like, well, what's the glitch? And he goes, well, we have this Horus type thing and there's a glitch and I want you to check it out. And he goes, and she says, well, you wouldn't have fucked the crow or eaten the crow or whatever, something the crow, to get me here so quick if it was just a glitch. Give me all the information, I'll get into it. And he goes, okay, fine. Uh, and then the next one is she's standing there and he's sitting there and he's got his head in his hands and she's like, are you freaking kidding me? You did this? The Horus level robots, you created robots that can self-duplicate themselves. And he goes, but only in a limited capacity. And she goes, but that can also consume biomatter. And he goes, as an alternate energy source. And she goes, and that is disconnected from the grid or whatever. And he's like, yeah, this is bad. And she goes, at this rate, they're going unchecked. They're multiplying. Um, and they will... They will consume all of the biomatter on the planet in 15 months. And he goes, so what do we do? And she goes, I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. But this is like extinction level of it. You have really fucked up. And he goes, whatever you come up with, I will do. And she goes, okay. I'm going to hold you to that. And that's that one. And so then this is the next, this is the next holographic hologram. Um, and I pause it right at the beginning of it. So it'll play out. Uh, and then... We'll just kind of do a little filler episode. And then basically I, I did this plot and then I basically warped back to Meridian. Um, and you'll see why. Uh, but anyway, that's it. So we're going to pick up where we left off um, plot wise. Uh, so you guys can watch it. So here we go. Zero Dawn. Jesus, listen. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. 
Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive uh, access detected. Express lift opened. Add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected she's more of she's you. Pacing back and forth. So, oh, she's you have a up. face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. Uh, I've spent decades searching the ruins of the older ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. You have no idea what I've been through, how hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am, or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobeck woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. The point is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. <sighs> you just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. It's that I don't care. God, it's cold. If the answers keep slipping what away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. Maybe then you'll realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was, was saved. Safe. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly, exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? I am. Of course I am. But first, I gotta shit on the question. Why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. I got questions. You said you've known for some time that Faro war machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. 
that they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Like I says we haven't that's encountered. Enough like we're a team somehow? Way. Like, screw you, dude. Oh, no. You mean I haven't encountered I'm shit. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind. She talks deaf, through her teeth, and, and it kind dumb. of weird. So quit weird, complaining weird, weird, me and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Yeah, no shit. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Makes sense. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Huh? Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal? Yes, because you're freaking wigging me out. I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. Long time ago. An explorer of forbidden you. places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. Who are you, Silent? Nope. You no. really need to make nope. nope. an nope. Nope. What? I picked the wrong button. I'm sorry. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly, an ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Yeah. Told Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. That's Cherry. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. <laughs> Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. So that's it. That's the plot part that you missed. Uh, that's pretty much well, it. Getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. Um, 
U.S. robot command next. Not a lot, but important. Very important stuff. Um, definitely things you kind of need to know. Um, so that's it. So, ooh, yeah. And now we basically come down here and ta-da! Swing it all down. Oh, okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, white as bone. <laughs> that thought got dark. Yeah, no shit, lady. That was really creepy. Oh, okay, so the next plot point um, is, of course, uh, he said to the east. And when he said to the east, he means all the way to the east. All the way back the frick over here. So what I decided, um, after I did this, uh, the two episodes that didn't get recorded, I said, screw that noise. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to turn in this robbing the rich. I'm going to meet up with what's his nuts here. And so I, I got a steed and I rode back to um, to Meridian. Uh, and I did that. And I turned in this quest and the guy was like, oh, thank you. Blah, 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 blah. And that was it. That's pretty much all I said. Um, and then I walked to here and I saved on, and I, I ended the episode on this bridge and then realized the other two I hadn't recorded. Ooh, so I went and I saved it here. So the next episode will pick up from Meridian, from right here. Uh, and then pretty much what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do this quest and then we'll fast travel all the way the frick over here and do this guy over here. And then that'll be it. So that's what you missed. I'm sorry. I that screw up happened i really really apologize i'm sorry i really didn't mean to uh but that's the parts that you missed um and then next episode we'll pick up right uh, right back in meridian so thanks here's the filler episode i'm sorry about it again hopefully it won't happen again but hopefully i covered the important parts oh, these are cauldrons right so also the other thing that i what the hell was this See the little, see the little tentacle things? I think those are the Horus guys. I think those are the Horus um, machines that had all the problems that could self-replicate these guys. I think those are the guys that could self-replicate and that had the glitch. And that's where the real main problem was, was with those guys. So, I, at least that's what it smells like to me. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, thanks for watching. Sorry about the glitch. I mean, not the glitch. <laughs> Sorry about the uh, miss. The uh, the miss. Um, the screwing up with the recording. I don't know why I can't talk anymore. Sorry about the screwing up with the recording. Uh, I apologize. Uh, hopefully it won't happen again. Um, but thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.